Yo, hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Dinky back again with another vlog and today I'm off to watch DC United take on Cincinnati at their last home game before they head off to playoffs. Check out, welcome to District Dog Navy Yard if you want to adopt a dog. And yeah, oh my god, they are actually cute. You know what, I was not a big fan of dogs but uh, ever since I came to the US I felt like uh, probably I need to have a pet. But anyways, uh, I gotta say first of all, big shout out to DC Frey for giving me these tickets to watch uh, the last game of the season. Pretty much most of the tickets were sold out and then uh, DC Frey, uh, they're quite an events company and uh, they hooked me up with this ticket. The Nationals are also having a game today, uh, which is why the streets are kind of full because there are people wearing the Nationals kit. And so United just lost to Newcastle 1-0, uh, we can go about it. I don't know. I had to say that uh, the problem is with Ed Edward Wood and the Glazer family, but uh, Ole isn't helping the case because Ole has taken the team from point C to point F or something. We are two points above relegation zone, and uh, I honestly don't. And I honestly don't think that uh, results are gonna improve under Ole because. Uh, If you look at it, we uh, we haven't won away since we won in Paris Saint Germain. And, I mean, if you look, if you go back, think about what if we hadn't won against PSG? Would we would I be more uh, concerned with the management? Would the man would the uh, Edward Wood or Glazer fans would have thought that Ole isn't the right person? You never know. That result against PSG was like a curse in disguise, cause. I don't know, I feel like if he hadn't won that game, we would have been more uh, pre precautious in terms of appointing Ole as the manager. Maybe we could have gone to uh, gone with Pochettino. I know he's struggling at Tottenham Hotspurs, but... And also, at the same time, I think both the managers, Ole and Poch, have reached the pinnacle for what they can do for their respective clubs. But I feel like Pochettino can maybe steady the ship a bit more than Ole could. And uh, we could have gone from there. But honestly, I haven't seen anything that Ole has done over the past two months in which Ole would have wanted to be, uh, Ole did something in which I could see his vision. If you lose to Liverpool, which we probably will, I don't know, depending on the table, we could be bottom three or something. But anyways, this, this is all about DC United and hopefully, I know that Rooney is suspended. I should have just got to know that like an hour ago, but fuck me. So the first time I came to watch DC United, he got sent off in like 17 minutes. And today he is completely suspended. But I just want to see good quality football. I hope it's a good, interesting game. Uh, DC United have already got the uh, pro promo, uh, playoff uh, position. And Cincinnati is like in the bottom of the table. So maybe they'll put up a fight. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in the stadium. Point blank save by the keeper of Cincinnati. Look at the space, they are not creating space. This guy, the left back or left winger, is so stationary. So is this uh, the left mid. Now he's again with. Oh, did well. He's on! He's on! Oh my god, fucking pass! Done! Oh, that was close. So it's finished. DC United nil, Cincinnati nil. What a f***ing dreadful game. To be honest, I thought like after watching United in the morning, this couldn't get worse. F***ing how wrong I was. This was like absolute uh, Pretty much MLS quality. But when a team, when your opponent is down nine men, and you probably had like two, three shots on target in the second half, that's... That sucks, man. Like, but, I mean, I feel like Rooney just carried this whole team to wherever it is right now. And when Rooney leaves, I think this is going to be like those uh, Burnley's and Norwich City of Premier League in MLS. Well, such an awful uh, day for football, both as a United fan. But United fans are getting... Exp I mean, as a United fan, we are kind of expecting these kind of results. So no surprises there. But uh, in terms of, I don't know, MLS, home game, last home game of the season, no Rooney, but 
That was such a shit game. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. MLS is without Rooney, DC United is Man United is just so much crap today, man. So much crap thrown to me today by football. Alright, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later.